Hey, no one. We end up just purchasing this beautiful tent. Yep. Going out to Lake of the Woods. Super, super comfortable. Welcome back to another episode of Bumper CV. Today, Noah and I are out here on this beautiful Wednesday evening around 7.30 p.m. Video just for, dropped uh, like 30 minutes ago. For our trip, we're uh, right up to Lake of the Woods and uh, we're going to spend, what, four days? Six. Six. On a little island that we kind of have reserved. We're on boats. So that. Kind of getting our stuff. We started. Yeah. So seriously, this video, guys, we're doing the top three spring braids. This video, you guys, we're doing the top three spring baits of all time. So uh, stay tuned. And seriously, we're going to be picking out stuff for our trips. Thank you. This is the one. Do you think one of these hammocks will work? Because, I mean, the trees are going to be decently... No one answered. Now we're at a BP. Which should go How long do we have to Lake of the Woods? <laughs> Vegas still got a six hour drive left till we're all the way at Lake of the Woods. Oh my god. That was. How long of a drive? 11 ish. 11, 12 hours. To Lake of the Woods. We're finally here, you guys. to our crib and like the This looks like your house. Oh dude, they even made welcome home signs. Oh. Wow, they really made this place look like Yeah, they really do. Sweet. Sweet. They sign everything. Jeez, nice of them. Let's keep going. What's going on guys? Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that intro of Nolan saying that we're going to Lake of the Woods, even though we're not. Today we're doing a, uh, a, a nice little video on the top three, in our opinions, the uh, top three spring baits that we've been using 
this year and last year. So let's start with number three. Good brain. All right, guys. <laughs> that was gross. <laughs> We're starting with number three, square ball crankbait. Um, square ball crankbait for us was a key component last year. We haven't used it at Mainly all this year yet. For bass, yeah. So if you're going for pike, this probably isn't the most ideal thing to be using, but for the bass, straight retrieve, it's beautiful. Chartreuse um, with like the black spot works yep. pretty well. Anything like that. You kind of want to keep it bright for the fish because they're kind of looking for something like that. More of a reaction bite. Yep. And uh, there will be a little clip that we're going to play from last year. Actually, our first ever gulpers video where I caught my, uh, my first that bass was insane. on the square bill. So we'll cut to that in a little bit, but here you go, square bill crankbait. Number two on our countdown, jackal, bluebill swim bait. Mega bass, I slide 185. I don't know how to say that, he does. <laughs> okay, this is his bait. Jake, you wanna talk about this bait and uh, what it does? All right, so it's more like a jerk bait if you want to call it, but it's like in a it's a glide bait, jerk bait, all put in one, kind of with a swim bait too. Um, it's a more expensive bait because it's made in Japan and stuff, and it's got, of course, you can see little magnets to hold up the stuff right here. I used it today, caught a few fish on it because the jerk bait bite was hot. We'll talk about more about the jerk bait, but that was a good bait today, the mega bass. It can like make a complete 360 move and stuff. Whatever. Okay, guys. So, I'm going to talk about my bait now, the, uh, the Jackal Bluegill Swim Bait, actually brought on to me by a friend of mine, Fishy Baker. We're going to crop that out. Okay, the Jackal. Right. I have very bad luck with this bait, but uh, let me tell you, this is probably one of the best spring baits ever. Yeah. Um, from personal experience, no. From what I've seen, yes. Uh, Jake caught his personal best yeah. pike, 40 inches. 15 pounds on that bait. Just a straight retrieve, you can work it in multiple different ways. It's honestly... There's different like places you can tie the line onto to give yep. it different actions. There's a spare spot you can put a hook on that I did just because this is the Jackal Gantrell and not the Gantrell Junior. So this bait is two inches bigger, I believe, yep. than the Junior. So that's why I put on the extra hook. And what's nice about this bait is not only can you use it during the spring um, when the pike are like in kind of pre-spawn spawn mode where they're mm -hmm. feasting up, but over the summer too, if you That's work it through I, ponds, yeah. bass will eat this, big bass, and I mean... I just still catch pike on it in summer. Yep. I always have this bait tied on year round. Yep. Alright guys, so our final, number one spring fishing bait is the jerk bait. Jerkbait, uh, we just started kind of using it in the last few videos, as you guys saw. Um, the pike actually love this bait, which we thought was only kind of a bass bait, you know. But, you know, Jake made a clutch call to Nolan and said, mm -hmm. like, hey, tie in a jerkbait, see if it works. I saw it, like, in videos that people catch pike off of it. So we did that. Okay, so continuing on what I was saying before. The jerk bait we say is one of the top spring baits because again, like the bluegill swim bait, it can not only be used for pike, but it can be used for bass. We haven't done any bass fishing videos with it yet because our ponds are still frozen over, but I guarantee you once our ponds are open water, get into the sort of pre-spawn area for the bass. This will always be tied on. This will be our go-to. We'll be catching fish on it non-stop. Mm -hmm. Like our last few videos with the pike, I mean it's one of the most versatile baits. It doesn't dive too deep. You have to get the shallow. Um, you like can get suspending, suspending too. Mm -hmm. I like that works suspending. perfect. And the thing that's nice about these is like a finesse, but they're still like a power move bait. Like they still got power to their finesse. Yeah. Power. Power moves. Power moves. Speaking of power moves, exploremore.com. Shout out to my brother, Nick. I hope you're watching this. I'll leave the link down below. Uh, go check out their website. Buy their apparel, super comfortable. I'll be fishing in it, a few videos coming up here. So, um, yeah. If we're talking about merch, I mean, this is also very important. The Gulpers TV merch. 
we have a lot, a lot of people support this and buy these t-shirts. And I want to keep the support up with buying some t-shirts. All right. All right, guys. So the last thing we're going to talk about is uh, extra hooks, as you can see here. I'm holding up treble hooks. They're very beautiful. What you can do with these treble hooks is actually put them on, like if your hooks are getting beat up on your jerk bait, your bluegill swim bait, you can you know take them off and put on some new trebles. So that's always an option too. All right guys, I hope you learned a little bit about uh, some spring fishing stuff. And those are our three top baits. Hopefully you take into consideration and use them while you're out fishing in spring. Work in different ponds, lakes, wherever you are. Just making adjustments and stuff. And uh, I wish you the best of luck when you go out. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys on another episode of Gulpers TV.